The mother-in-law, Kathy, all I can think about is honor. It's all. How can I honor each of these people, right? They're there for me. They're giving to me, right? Feeding my dogs while I was away. Giving me food and companionship when no one else cared or loved me, right? And the only thing I can think to be able to give back to these people is action. I can and will honor these people with action. But listen, I'm I'm not sitting here I'm not sitting here telling you my entire story so that you feel like some kind of pity or sorry for what I've been through, right? I tell you my story so that you understand that you know with a clear vision, clear goals, we can be self-disciplined. We can change our environment, our thoughts, our purpose, and our life's passions, right? And I was close to giving up. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Like I was close, but. Not on my wife, not on my kids, but on you and me. On my ability to just to push through and lead each of you to a higher place. A place of character, a place of honor, a place of action, right? And uh, when I think back on my life and the people I've lost along the way, guys, the people like my grandfather, my best friend Bailey, my cousin Jake, my mother-in-law Kathy, all I can think about is honor. It's all. How can I honor each of these people, right? They're there for me. They're giving to me, right? Feeding my dogs while I was away. Giving me food and companionship when no one else cared or loved me, right? And the only thing I can think to be able to give back to these people is action. I can and will honor these people with action. And so I made a mission statement for myself that I'm going to fucking live by until the day I die. And it's, I will empower people for the rest of my life achieve their goals, own their pen, and make a significant difference in the quality of life and the lives they all come in contact with. And this is how I'm going to honor them, and I'm just getting started. I promise you, I'm just getting started. So the last few weeks, I've been able to kind of sit back, right, and really think about the impact that I've had with a lot of you. And uh, it brings tears to my eyes and butterflies to my heart when I think about all of you guys. We started this journey with just hope, right? With just the emotion of hope. That's all you had. And, you know, six months later, a year later, two years later, you guys are shining examples of what I was put on this earth to create. And I, I'm not interested in making a bunch of money, right? But I am interested in making the most out of living. And each of you have helped me do this. Each and every one of you have helped me do this. So with that... I want to thank some of these people for honoring me with their actions. Um, Hal Fisher, Jessica Fisher, Rob and Melissa Parrish, Sean and Christina Hill, Adrian, Samantha Green. I love you guys. Rico Butter Brown. That's your new name, Rico Butter Brown. I love you, dude. Um, thank you guys so much. Christina Ortega, Justin Ward, Lori Camp, Shelly Frost, Dale Bunchu, Thaddeus, Devin Norton. Kylie Rena, Bree Mashad, Simon and Ellie Fullis, Sean Kochel, Seth Festermaker, Joel and Josiah Smith, Sohil Chichor, Elijah Alevis, Calvin Burkhart, Scott King, Lance Williams, Russell Maestas, Larry Powell, Lafayette Barella, Paul Myers, Demetrius Spates, and of course, my wife, Danelle Osborne. I'm so honored that you guys have taken action and joined me on this path. You guys have honored me with your action, right? And it, and it, it is in doing, getting started, that it can help each of you find security that will develop you from within, right? Your promise of hope, your blueprint to success. I'm going to be that person. I'm never going to give up on you guys.